before we start, yeah, I'm going to take another break from YouTube because I I started to realize that my uploads are getting a little constant again. Again, I'm just going to take a little break for a little bit, for a wee bit. Wee bit. I'm not going to do it for long, trust me. I'm just taking a little short break. Like, like, like two or three or even four days, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, anyways, here we are. Now, keep in mind that if some Sonic games that I haven't reviewed on this list aren't out yet, uh, haven't been reviewed yet, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into much detail about them, cause, or as the, or in the video as a whole, because cons considering the fact that I reviewed most of these games, so how bad can this video really be? I touched on I touch I touched on at least some aspects from any from every Sonic game I talk about on this list. So keep in mind this is very opinion based. Very 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 opinion based. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. I'm sure at least some of you were expecting this to be at worst place. Sonic the Hedgehog 4 is the worst Sonic game I've ever played. This game is horrible. Very, very horrible. Horrible. Which is really saying something because I really love the classic Sonic games and even 2D Sonic games in general. Roll. It's so sad that a 2D Sonic game came at worst place, but the but the fact that Sonic Team didn't even put uh, made made some of the worst Sonic games in a 2D the platformer, yeah, it ha it just had to go in worst place. Why do I hate Sonic the Hedgehog 4 so much? Well, to start off, of the originality department isn't even present. I get that this is supposed to celebrate Sonic the Hedgehog in the first place, but if you, but you're already copying a lot of these zones owns enough as it. You, but you, you should just make an entirely new 2D Sonic experience. Hell, why isn't the game 2D bit? Bit. I get you wanted to make your make this some this quote unquote classic Sonic game to have a modern Sonic feel to it, or a modern Sonic design feel to it, but still, ew. but still, this game just looks like a, a literal fan game. The only thing that this game has going for it is concept, but that's it. Nothing else in this game interests me. And no, I'm not sparing episode 4. You wanna know why? Because Sonic the Hedgehog 4 episode 2 who, despite being better, despite being better than episode one, it, it's not saying much considering the fact that the level design is still, is still bleak as it was in the previous game. Previous game. The only thing that, that has going for it is somewhat, is somewhat origin, is more, is somewhat more originality in terms of stages. Even, even then, it's still not by much. The bosses are awful. Full and the and the soundtrack, like even the soundtrack for for the for this Sonic game is disappointing. And I'm talking about both soundtracks. I just don't understand how this happened. How do you mess up a Sonic game in terms of soundtrack? I can't believe I can't believe something like this was able to be accomplished in a Sonic game. In a Sonic game, I'll happily take Sonic Advance's this soundtrack over this. Over this piece of crap, at least it actually tried something, despite it being not very great. All in all, Sonic the Hedgehog 4, because of its of its disappointment regards for a 2D Sonic game of all things, and the problems that it introduces, along with controls, along with controls that even for 2D Sonic standards is is bullshit. This is easily my least favorite Sonic game of all time. <sighs> At least things get better from here. Very, very better from here. 
Okay, so that was the F tier of of a Sonic game. Thankfully, that was the only game from from the F tier. There's still two games that I hate though. Two more games. Every other game aim after these two games, games I only I only either dislike or think it's mediocre at best. Starting off I think some of you were expecting Sonic Forces to be on the bad tier of Sonic games. Sonic the he so Sonic Forces, without wi without being quite as terrible as Sonic the Hedgehog 4, I still despise this game so much. I know I said in my review that I didn't say that this was terrible, but uh, however, I re I rethinked it, and this game really is terrible. In fact, I think it's worse than what, uh, than how the reviews put it. It's hit. This game is hated by the Sonic fan base for for a good reason. For a good reason. Reasons that involve the game in being just a boring in, in mess. Modern Sonic stages is are so lackluster, and the boosting segments segments are just are just lazy. You have the Rookie, which is a little bit more challenging, and in my opinion, a little bit better than Modern Sonic. But still. But 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 it's still not very good, man. Just... Uh... I give the Rookie some props for actually, actually using the method of the Wisps from Sonic Colors. There's, but, but, I, but, even, but even those weren't very utilized is that well in this game. Him. All in all, the rookie is nothing. T rookie is not the terrible part about Sonic Forces, is but it's 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 just stuff like the, it's just stuff like the, it's just stuff like modern Sonic and especially classic Sonic. Now I used to think now I used to think classic Sonic's gameplay in this game was just decent, but after looking back now, it's. This uh, this version of Classic Sonic, while not as slippery as Sonic 4, it's still really bad. R really bad. And is, in my opinion, worse than, than Modern Sonic. The only stages that I like in this game is Shadow Stages. These stages actually have multiple pathways, and it's not just... And it's not just the lazy boosting section. No, there's actually some stuff you actually have to do. Why wasn't Modern Sonic's gameplay like this too? Like, what the hell? When I go back to Sonic Forces and playing it myself, I usually- It's not a bad game on its own, but at the same time, it's just lazy for Sonic standards. Way too lazy for Sonic standards. I'm sorry, but- Ugh. <sighs> Again, this game is not as bad as Sonic 4, but it's still really bad, and it just overall sucks to me. The story as a whole is also a literal what the hell moment. Seriously, the introduction to the main story was actually good. Good. But then everything else about the story is just misleading. False advertising, man! What it gives! The writing in the, the writing in the in this game in this game really lacks, Thanks. and and overall just it tries to be something like the Sonic Adventure series, but then it just drags on and on. This it feels like the same thing for the story. He happens over and over again. And, and Infinite? He's a real- I actually like Infinite as a villain, but his backstory is, is beyond lazy. If there are some things that I will give to Sonic Forces, is aside from aside from Shadow Stages, I actually think the, the idea of a rookie is really good. Just too bad that the gameplay as a whole is bad. Not terrible like Modern Sonic and Classics, but still bad. I also really enjoyed the graphical presentation 
in, of Sonic Forces. The graphics look very smooth, and, and and the aesthetics really, really do pop out. Just not the most pleasing Sonic game, game as that honor goes to Sonic Unleashed. Oh yeah, and along with Frontiers, but we'll get into there later. You want to know another good thing about this game? Good music. Unlike Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Sonic Forces music actually is able to stand out quite a bit. I actually like the music for this game, and it's actually, and at, and at certain points, it can actually be pretty beautiful. So all in all, Sonic Forces as a whole isn't the worst Sonic game, but for what it offers, it could have been so much better. And and for what we've been promised, this game really, uh, this game just really sucks to me. And and you want, and my brother feels the exact same way, way. And I even consider games like Shadow, like Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic 06 to be even worse games than this. Than this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know that's a bit of a hot take, but how I feel is generally how I feel. While I still stand by the fact of Shadow the Hedgehog being better than Sonic Forces, this game still sucks, and I do kinda hate this game. Not nearly as much as Forces and Sonic 4, but it's still really bad, dude. For one thing, the writing is just, uh The writing is the writing is definitely one of the worst is one of, is some of the worst that this series has ever seen. Seriously, I can't get... Seriously, I can't get away from this. Second off, the graphics. Why? Just why? I mean, I mean, the game doesn't look bad as a whole, but everything... But all the model, But all the, the models from Shadow and Company are reused from Sonic Heroes. Can I ask why? Why did they have to reuse graphics? Graphics from a previous game where they could have have done much better graphics here. That's what they did for the adventure games, so what happened? And I get that this is supposed to be something that, t that takes place after Sonic Heroes, but that doesn't mean you should copy the graphics from them. Um... Oh no, I don't really mind the graphics as a whole. I just think it's a I th I just think it's really confusing that they just reuse that they just reused it for no good reason. Second off, the amount of missed potential in this game overall. Not only is the story not only does the story does the story suck ass, this, but uh, but it's not even legit. You have to to play the first level 10 times in order to receive the the actual ending. What kind of level? That's what kind of game design is this? Who, who thought of this? I like the more. I like the idea of a morality system, and the idea of, of multiple endings was really cool too. In fact, stuff like this is reasons why I actually loved Shadow the Hedgehog back then. Looking back though, it's actually kind of funny that I that I actually liked this game. Now there are some people that are more that are more generous towards Shadow than some other Sonic games, but. Uh, I don't know, man. And Shadow the Hedgehog is just a plain out mess. And if you saw my Sonic Heroes review, if you saw my Sonic Heroes video, you already know what my thoughts are in the controls. As I said, they're more slippery than that game. Which I don't, which I didn't think would be possible, but it it was possible. I'm also not not a big fan at all of Black Doom. The gun commander isn't very great either. In fact, the gun of uh, gun as a whole is just my least favorite characters from the Sonic universe. They learn uh, they did eventually learn from their mistakes, but it took them 50 years. Some people say that Chris from Sonic X is worse than them, but at least he's able to learn faster, unlike these guys who, do who doesn't even consider learning faster. And, the f and if there's one flaw of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, as awesome as that movie was, 
Gunn really, Gunn really was hated throughout that movie, and I don't, and I certainly don't blame them. If there are some things that I like about Shadow the Hedgehog that places it above Sonic Forces, there's actually a bit more variety in terms of, in terms of level design rather than Sonic Forces tries to be. Also, despite how how stupid giving Shadow the Hedgehog a gun, an is. The gun, the gun is able. The gun does work really well, and and the melee weapons, while the range could be a lot better, it does work. It does work on its, on its own two legs somewhat. And you know what? And I'm probably gonna piss a lot of people off when I say this, but I actually love the soundtrack for Shadow of the Hedgehog. I'm not saying it's one of the absolute best soundtracks in the series, but I like. But I love revisiting the soundtrack like a lot. My only complaint, the only complaint that I could see why some people well, don't like the soundtrack is being out of place for a Sonic game. I can understand that, but if the soundtrack itself is good, that's a, that's a win in my book. I don't know, man. I, I just don't know, man. And the the soundtrack is just the soundtrack is just be, it's just really good to me. To me, and yeah. Yeah, all in all, Shadow of the Hedgehog is a large mess, and, and it's something that I can never deny, but it is better than Sonic Forces, and Sonic 4. Would I, would I consider it by much? I wouldn't say. I'm sh- I'm sure some of you were expecting some some Sonic Advance to be on there on here. I'm sorry, Advance fans, but I'm not really a big fan of the Advance trilogy. I really, I'm really not. If you like the Advance trilogy, that's perfectly okay. The only good game from the Advance trilogy is Sonic Advance 2, but Sonic Advance 1 and 3 is just, is just the eh side of the trilogy. And in my personal opinion. Sonic Advance 3 kind of sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I would not recommend this. I would not recommend Sonic Advance 3 for someone's first Sonic game. Game a, the a rough start that you that you could potentially have at the very beginning, leaving a player confused, like how I was when I first played this game. Yeah. The Advance Gate Sonic Advance 3 does a horrible job on trying to do a first impression for a Sonic game. It could just be me, but but I don't know. Again, again, I still find Sonic 4 to be a lot worse than this 2D Sonic game, but I still but I still think the controls are really wonky even for 2D Sonic standards. It's like why? Again, again, I really don't. I really hate the fact that's that there's actually 2D Sonic games out there with horrible controls. Trolls. The fact that this is able to be messed up so badly like this is just. <sighs> I also don't really care for the soundtrack. It's better than Sonic the Hedgehog 4, but not by much. There are some now. There's actually some good tracks in there, like like Green Hill Zones, when to remaster, and the and the boss theme for Sonic and and the boss theme for Sonic Advance Three, Three tracks like that is actually something I I legit expect in, in a 2D Sonic game that, that I can expect to be good. However, speaking of the, of the boss fights, these boss fights are my least favorite boss fights from the Advance trilogy. Wanna know why? Because as I said, Advance 3's controls are ass. I don't really have that much things positive to say about Sonic Advance 3, but there's a, but the one reason why it's above the other games is because personally, I think the other games uh, other games games like Forces and, and Shadow are still have still much bigger flaws than this game. I don't really, I don't really got anything to say about Sonic Advance 3. I just don't really like it that much. Much. It's a, it's just a, it's just kind of bad to me. Not extremely bad, but still kind of bad. Okay, so now we go into the C tier Sonic games. This is where you'll find 
and mediocre, average, and decent. Starting it off... Why? Yeah, if you already saw in my video, in my review for Sonic Advance, I'm generally not a big fan of the first game. This is the first game on this ranking that I actually don't consider bad and just okay. I think, I think the variety of characters is pretty nice, and I think the bosses are pretty good. Pretty good. However, the level design is just way too linear for my taste. I don't know, it could be just me, but... But, but the level design is just way too linear. And I feel like... And while I'm... And while I'm... And while I'm able to control myself a lot better than Sonic Advance 3, which is legit a positive that I can actually praise this game for, although, at the same time, it's... Mm, it, this game could be a lot better than what it is. This is better... Uh, this soundtrack is better than Sonic Advance 3 soundtrack, but it's still not very great. There are some good parts from here and there, here and there, and it's actually somewhat better than the Advanced Threes use soundtrack in some areas. But for the most part, the soundtrack is just kind of, eh. The line, I don't, I don't know, this, I don't know, the, this, I really don't know what to say about this game. Damn it. Like, this game isn't really that hard. It's, it's actually, it actually doesn't, it actually doesn't do a bad job of, of, of showing a person their first Sonic game, but I certainly wouldn't recommend it as their first Sonic game. If you want to, if you want to check this game out, then go ahead. Just be just be cautious about it, considering that you will be bored to death in more occasions than not. However, with the positives I have give for this game, this game is overall just a mediocre instead of a bad Sonic game. The Advanced Trilogy is definitely the most overrated Sonic Sonic Trilogy. But but it's but it's different but it's not a bad trilogy. It's just an okay at best trilogy. Sega Yeah, a ton of people really don't like this game, and I can understand why. However, I don't find Sonic and the Secret Ranks to be that bad, and like a lot of people say it is, which is why it's in the C tier of Sonic games. Even so, this game does have a lot of problems. Now, most of the, now most of the problems with Sonic and the Secret Rings only comes from only comes from the gameplay. But, you know, but even then, those are very big problems. For one thing, the controls. Oh my god, the controls! What do they do to you? You can only go forward and, and not turn backwards very easily? Like, why? This control is even worse than Shadow the Hedgehog! Granted, this game it does have more enjoyable stages than Shadow the Hedgehog, which is why it's it's more it's higher. But still, ugh. the controls are my uh, are some of the worst controls that this series has ever seen. Seen. Now, I don't necessarily have a big problem with the stages, other than how other than that they can be a little too linear at certain times. Oh no. <laughs> controls are so bad that I can only place it just so high. Like, I love games like Sonic Heroes, despite the controls, because despite the controls being somewhat poor, at least they're, at least they're able to be, at least it's able to be managed. Sonic is a great however, it's 
However, I will say, the story is awesome. Not one of my absolute favorite stories in the series, but but it has that serious, serious action huh? while, while, while Sonic having that cocky, he, that cocky personality. It still has, it still has the Sonic magic, people. It's something that, that I can, that I legit want in a Sonic game, in terms of story. I say the game also looks pretty good for an, for a Wii title. For a Wii title. There are some, some, th there are, there could be some improvements, but considering that this is an early Wii title, well, I won't get, I won't be, I won't give it too much, itch of a, I won't give it too much leeway. I'll give it, I'll give it a little leeway, but I won't consider it, but I won't consider, but I'll still consider a somewhat flaw in the game that is, that's sometimes a bit iffy. Also, gotta say, the soundtrack is an, is an absolute banger. Is abs is full with absolute bangers. It's just too bad that the game as a whole is just hard to control. Oh. Sorry, Sonic Team. You... You tried to you tried to make something better. You tried to make something better than Sonic 06, but oh, but you but you did kind of fail on that one. <sighs> okay. I ask you all to hear me out when I am about to say this. Because I may or may not place it placed in a very hated Sonic game up to the decent territory. And let's just say this game is, and let's just say this game left a very big impact to the series as a whole. <laughs> oh boy, Sonic 06. Yeah. This game is white toy. But if it's so horrible, then why did I place it up to C, up to C tier? Well, let me explain. Sonic 06 is horrible from an objective standpoint, but in a personal standpoint, I actually, I actually somewhat enjoy this, enjoy the game, and that's some aspects that that offers. Sure, it may be cheap in terms of, of the stupid glitches. Is, which I'm about to go over the negatives right now. For one thing, the controls may be a lot better than, say, like Secret Rings, Shadow the Hedgehog, Hedgehog, but it's still kind, but it's still kind of annoying. Annoying. For one, Sonic doesn't go. It, Sonic kind of moves a little too slow. Low, and it said, and it kind of goes. Moves over what the adventure. It kind of goes against what the adventure games have going for it. Instead of earning speed, you have to you have to wait until you uh, until you get speed, which is kind of uh, which is kind of annoying. Also, some of these stages, some of these stages are just named differently. Yet, yet they're yet they're exactly the same stages from older games. Take Wave Ocean for for an instance. This game, this level design is literally, is literally a level design from, from Sonic Adventure 1, Emerald, Co em Emerald, Old Coast. Like, like, why would you name, why would you rename him a level that you've used before, for, with the same, with the same level, with the same...